Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to be tackling some things outside the porch. Um, we're going to mostly be planting some flowers and this is how it's looking right now and it just needs a change. I want some bright flowers out on the porch. Um, it just needs some color out there and we are getting ready to plant some flowers. I'm so excited. Um, this is always so much fun to get some bright flowers out in the beginning of the summer. So we're just gonna start with putting these big pots here and I can never decide should they be centered with the door or the door and the side light. Being there's only one side light, I think it looks strange this way, but then sometimes if I stare at it long enough, it looks strange this way as well. So we're just gonna leave it that way for today. And here are all the flowers that I have to plant. I'm not gonna get to them all today, but we're gonna do some of these. And I just wanted to take you along with me and hopefully you enjoy this. So for the front porch, I'm just gonna start by filling these up with some potting mix that I had on hand. I had a, gotten a big bag last fall. So we're gonna use that. And I like to just arrange my flowers kind of how I like them before I start actually planting. And we're just gonna start with this grass uh, spike here in the middle. And then we're gonna kind of just plant the other flowers around. And I do have two different trailing flowers that will go in here. Um, I'll show them to you in a minute here. And then I'm going to put this beautiful fuchsia colored geranium here on the side towards the door because I want to see that one um, when I'm walking in. And then this other one is a white geranium. And then here's like the, I think it's the potato vine is what they call it. These things usually go pretty wild. Um, this is a trailing plant. I'm gonna put that one in the front. So hopefully it trails over the side. And then also this very pretty delicate flower. It looks like a double petunia or something, but it looks very delicate and pretty. Um, I love how it looks. So we're gonna put that one on the side of the door as well. And then I'm gonna plant the opposite pot exactly the same but like totally mirrored um, reversed as like this one um, so that way they look the same when you're walking out the door and then I got these purplish they look purple here on the camera but they're actually kind of a bluish purple in real life and I just got these and I'm just gonna fill in kind of the empty spots here with these flowers, just fill up the pot and make it look full. Then just filling in with dirt as I go, making sure it's nice and full and everything is planted well. And I just love this blue purple color with this fuchsia color and the white. I just, I just love this color combination. Um, I was glad to find these colors. And after I got the flowers planted, of course, there was a mess there, so I needed to sweep out the porch anyway. So we're just gonna go ahead and sweep the porch. And as you can see there on the floor, there's lots of chalk art. Um, with all the rain that we've been getting, the children wanted to go outside and play so bad, but it was so muddy. So I let them write on the porch with chalk, which they loved, um, but now it's just their um, their arts there for all to see. And then I'm just gonna put down the rugs that I had. Um, I didn't get new rugs for the summer. Um, I'm just gonna use what I have. And then lastly, we're gonna water these flowers really well and get them nicely saturated. 
and here's the finished porch for now I like how it turned out and I am actually planning on doing some more like some hanging pots a little bit later um, I just didn't get it done at on this day but I'll do that then later and hang them around the perimeter of the porch And then I also threw on some outdoor throw pillows here on the porch swing just to finish it off and make it look homey. Next we are going to head on down to the garage and get started there. Now I got these planters a year or two back here in Aldi actually and they work very well they're either for hanging pots or you can just set a basket there on the little stand and I got these planters here that I'm going to use down here by the garage doors and never mind the mess down here uh, we put in the new door and it's just kind of the way it is down here um, we're trying to get some things fixed up and it just all takes time and you know how that goes um, but it definitely needs some flowers down here to brighten it up and kind of uh, take your eyes off the mess, I guess, and have some beauty down here. So this is what I'm going to be working with down here. Um, kind of the same idea as on the front porch. Um, some of the flowers are a little bit different, but basically all the same um, in different pots. And the first one that I'm going to put in is a wave petunia. Um, this is one of the proven winter ones that get like really big. And so this one is a trailing flower that should trail out over the edges of the pot, hopefully. And then another white geranium as well. And we're going to put two of the white geraniums in this pot. And then also another one of these, I think this is also called like the potato vine. Um, it's just in a different color, this dark uh, purplish brown color. So hopefully we'll kind of have a trailing a uh, potato vine kind of towards the back and then the wave petunia up front and then I did the other one again mirrored um, like this one on the other side and then I'm gonna water them really well And then we're going to move on to the back deck and here I'm just planting one of these wave petunias in this white pot that I got at Walmart actually uh, very inexpensive I was impressed with the size of the pot it is it's like a ceramic um, pot and also this beautiful solar light I'm going to hang that in the middle there and then just kind of sweep off these chairs they were dusty as you can tell um, they just needed to be swept off cleaned off a little bit and also just sweeping the floor as I go.
And so I'm going to put this white pot here in the middle of the chairs and just center the chairs with the pot. And then I also got these little seat covers um, from Walmart as well. Um, I just thought maybe it would just brighten it up a little bit out here, give some color. And these just tie on the back. They're very simple to put on. And then I had these pillows. Um, they're just a nice outdoor pillow. I, I'm going to put those on the chair as well. And then I'm going to put these green um, plants that were on the front porch. I'm just going to put these on either side of the chairs just to finish it off. And again, just water the plant really well. And here's the back deck. This was a very simple change here. It didn't take much at all. And it looks a lot better than it did and hopefully we'll have many good times here on the back deck this summer. So that is gonna be it. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all my viewers. Thank you again for your support and I will see you next time. Bye.